Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here and today I've got the review for you of the Rode iX1 microphone for GeekStreetLabs.com. So before I get on with this video, I want to let you know that this entire review is recorded from the Rode iXY directly into my iPhone 5S. So finally, Rode has come out with a microphone that is compatible with Lightning Connector devices. It's compatible with the iPhone 5, 5S, and 5C and clips on directly onto the bottom of the device. It enables you to record 2496 studio quality audio directly into your iPhone and it is a stereo microphone and features two half inch cardioid condenser capsules fixed in a perfect 90 degree alignment. Taking a look at the box, once again it does show its high fidelity recording capabilities, accessories included as well as a high pass filter built in. So this is definitely going to be a pretty big upgrade in terms of the audio recording capability compared to the built in mic on your iPhone 5S which I'm going to show you later in this video. So before I kind of show you the microphone itself, I want to show you around the packaging. If you didn't know already, Rode is a company from Australia and all of their microphones are also manufactured in Australia. The Rode iXY in terms of design is just so beautiful. It gives you a nice premium feel to it and it's nice gunmetal black look to it is extremely sleek, even on the white iPhone 5S. The quality is just amazing and they even include a very nice carry case, an adapter to use on the iPhone 5C, an instruction manual, and also a silica gel pack, which of course I'll be eating as soon as I'm done this video. Giving you a closer look at the case itself, like I said, it does seem extremely high quality. It is a pretty solid case and it is kind of the style of case that I've always preferred and used with my headphones. On the outside it says IXY from Rode and there is also a foam windscreen included as well and that fits straight into the case as well. So that is definitely something you should be using at all times to kind of filter out the wind and also the popping sounds but the microphone itself fits in there perfectly and it even has a keychain to just strap it on your bag and carry it around with you. Taking a look at the Rode iXY itself, its form factor is actually pretty small. It clips directly onto the bottom of your iPhone 5, 5S, or 5C and it still gives you access to the home button through a little bit of a silicone nub. It fits on very nicely and once you have plugged it in completely, a green indicator light will come up. It doesn't require anything else, you pretty much just plug and play, you're able to record into the device itself, whether you're just using the camera app, vlogging for example, or you can record it into the voice memo, but what they recommend you to use to be able to get the highest quality possible in terms of the bitrate is the Rode recording application. From close you can see the nice detail and craftsmanship of the Rode iXY and I am just such a big fan of it. I love the look of it and I think Rode has once again done an amazing job in terms of its design. Not only in the look but the way that they have engineered the sound quality to enable it to record such a good audio in such a small form factor directly into your iPhone. The problem that I would say are seen on built-in mics of pretty much any device, but on the iPhone is the fact that it pretty much records everything. If you're trying to record an interview, it will still record the background noise or something. And for people who do music, musicians out there, or for people who do interviews after a sports game on athletes, you may notice a lot of people do use iPhones for that. And I could imagine one of the biggest issues is the ambient noise with so many people around. And what the world X XY is able to do very well is block out the surrounding sounds and kind of just focus on the subject itself. So now I'm going to give you a very quick test of the built-in microphone on the iPhone 5S compared to the Rode iXY. This is just an audio test of the Rode iXY microphone. This is just a quick audio test of the built-in microphone on the Apple iPhone 5S. So I'm sure from that test you did notice a pretty big difference in terms of the quality. The Rode iXY is able to just get a very good sound in terms of focusing on the subject, while the iPhone 5S you were able to hear everything. So now I would like to show you around the Rode Record application, and in general the interface is very simple, very easy to navigate, and functions very well. It is what Rode recommends you to use as it allows you to record in the highest 24 to 96 codec and able to get the most out of your Rode iXY microphone. Unfortunately, there is a light version, but their full version costs $599. And at the cost of $200 you're already paying for your Rode iXY, I would have liked it to be included. 
They give you a whole bunch of options in terms of the codec you would like to record it in, the bit rate. You have tons of versatility in terms of the recording, the editor, the effects. You're able to set markers. And there are just so many things that, as someone who's not really familiar with audio terms, I don't really understand at all. But I'm using the application right now, and it is able to allow me to adjust the gain and do whatever I need to. And it is also very easy to transport your audio clips over to Dropbox or directly to your computer. It worked very, very well. And I figured if you did buy the Rode IXY already, you might as well spend the extra $6 and purchase the app as well. Though I really wish Rode would just include that. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, I have been using the Rode IXY this whole time, and from listening to it, I am very pleasantly surprised. The sound quality is absolutely phenomenal for its size, and it even compares with my Blue Bluebird microphone and the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 preamp combo that I use for the voiceovers in almost all of my videos. It is able to capture a very clear sound in such a small size and the fact that it clips onto your iPhone makes it extremely handy. And although it does come in at a price tag of 200 bucks, which may be extremely expensive for the everyday consumer, for people who will be using it on a regular basis, I would actually say it gets my recommendation even at that price point. But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a like if you did and a huge thanks to Rode for sending us out for reviewing purposes and I'll see you all in the next video.